ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದಂ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಯನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ಕಲ್ಪತರು ಅಶ್ಯಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂಧು ಅತಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ಬಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘೈತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈತು ಸಿದ್ಧೈತಿ ಆವೈಕೇಶ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೀ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿಂಗ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಿರಿಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನತುಪಾಲ್ಯಭವಾದ್ದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾಹಬಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಾಗರಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮೈ ಕದಾ ಕೃಪಾಂಕರೋಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾಬಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕರು ಕಮಲಾಯಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರೌ ಕರುಣಾಭಾರ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಠಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಭೀರ್ ತ್ವಂ ನಿಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 
Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Suro Sarit Suro Sarit Upakante Suro Sarit Upakante Godrume Guru Tirthe Basati se soru vikunje bhakti purvam binodaha Suro sarid upakante Godrume gauru tirthe Basati se soru vikunje bhakti purvam binodaha Jugola charano seva shoksho lava saya ashu Pada padma srai atro Gauriya goshipoti Sisila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Jagat Bhopad Paramahansa Jagat Guru said that we can get honey in flower. Honey available in flower. And also poison is also available in flower. We can get honey from flower, also we can get poison from flower. But those honeybees, they are going to collect honey from flower. And those luta kit, one special insect, going to collect poison from that flower, same flower. It is not our duty to collect flower from, collect honey from flower. It is the duty of honeybees. Apparently everybody coming in bhajan, apparently everybody coming in bhajan, we see. But some of them, they are going to collect poison from the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they cannot see Amrita, they cannot find, follow, they cannot find honey. Similar way, those who are actually doing Gauriya Bhajan, those who are coming in Gauriya Bhajan, for them Bhakti Mahatma Thakur wanted to give some special advice. Like you know, those Agashur, Bakashur, Putana, Shakotasur, you know, Bhakti Murataka wanted to give one by one explanation. One by one Bhakti Murataka wanted to give some explanation about what is the meaning of Putana. What is the meaning of Srinavartha? What is the meaning of Agashur, Bakashur? I mean, Bhakti Mahatagur wanted to say that though they apparently they are, you can physically find, you can see apparently they are in Bindavan. Agashur, Bakashur, Putana, Kongsho. Apparently you can find they are in Bindavan. But they are against but they are against Bhagavan Sri Krishna. They are against Surupanuga Bhajan, Raganuga Bhajan. They are against Krishna Bhagavan. They like to they like to destroy Krishna. It is their motive. They like to destroy Krishna. It is their motive. Krishna is the Supreme Lord. They are always thinking, if we can kill Krishna, nobody there to keep a close watch on our activities. So better we can kill Krishna. We can destroy Krishna. It is the idea of the demons. But they don't know, we cannot kill Krishna. Krishna is the Supreme Lord, Supreme Authority. 
we cannot kill Krishna, we cannot kill devotees, devotion, devotees, we cannot kill. The first look I started with is very important slow. If we realize this first, if we realize this sloka, then you can understand the mood of Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Shuro Sarid Upakanthe Godrume Gaura Tirthe. If you don't know Sanskrit, feel still you can understand very easy. Shuro Sarid means Suradhani, means Ganga. Suro Sarid Upakanthe at the bank of Ganga. Godrume, in this Godrum Dham, Upakanthe Godrume, Suro Sarid Upakanthe Godrume Gaur Tirthe. Vasati Sri Suro Vikunje, Bhakti Purvam Vinadha. With full devotional mood, serving mood, Bhakti Mataka speaking, I am sitting here to serve Gaura Sashi, Gaura Chandra. Suro Sarid Upakanthe, Godrume, Gaura Tirthe, Vasati Sisuro Vikinje, Bhakti Purvam Vinadaha, Jugala Charano, Shoksho, Lava Saya Asu, Brajo Rasika Rasikaya, Pada Padma Sraya Atro. Very important. Those who are actually Raganuga Bhakti, Rupanuga Bhajan, only they can realize that gravity of the heart of Bhakti Thakur. They can realize. Bhakti Thakur speaking, I am sitting in Godrum Dham with a strong desire to serve Gauranga Mahaprabhu. And directly I cannot get the seva of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, not possible. It is one kind of audacity. If I say I can serve Gauranga, who are you to serve Gauranga? You can see Gauranga. You can serve Gauranga. So Bhakti Mataka not speaking that I am going to serve Gauranga. Bhakti Mataka is speaking with a strong desire to get the scope to serve those devotees, pure devotees, Brajara Sikh. I like to serve them. Because if I can get the scope to serve such a great exalted devotee, pure devotee, those who are already having Brajorasa, then surely I can get Brajorasa. Brajorasa you cannot get by, by your personal effort, you cannot get. By your personal effort, you cannot get. You can think if you have your money power, educational power, everything you have, but you cannot get the scope to serve Gauranga directly. So, Braja Rasik, it is a system. Bhakti Thakur repeatedly wanted to say, Bhakti Thakur repeatedly wanted to say, that the Braja Ras, Braja Prem, it is one kind of contagious disease. Like Corona, if you come near, you can develop Corona. Bhakti Muttaka is speaking that those who are already having Braja Rasa, Braja Prema, you will have to serve them from heart. If you can satisfy them, then be sure that kind of disease can come. I mean, Prem Rog, in Hindi and Bengali Sanskrit we say, it's called Prem Rog. You can get, Bhakti Mahatma was speaking, like two cloud, dense cloud, coming, gradually approaching each other. They have potential difference, you know, they have free charge in the cloud. When they are approaching, when they are, in that case, or free charge, they are going to exchange, I mean, they are going to get balance. In that case, some sound develop, and electrical, first of all, you can see some light, lightening. After that, you can get one sound, because velocity of sound is, you know, velocity of light is more than 
that's why you can get the signal of light after that you can get the you can hear sound bhakti mitral giving this example bhakti mitral speaking that this way if you come in contact with pure guru vishnuva with nishkapat ba if some duplicity there no problem then that case you cannot get with serving temperament if you can come from heart in that in that case they surely they can help you and uh, you can get the taste of rupanuga bhajan raganuga bhajan and this way because there is no other way there is no other way if you think i can go on doing harinam some day you can do is not possible because harinam you can do but sadhu sange krishna naam ei matro chai that you forget we are sure those who are pure devotee for them nam bhajan is very important because by the help of nam bhajan they can get sadhya vastu they can get sadhya vastu and when when you are doing nam bhajan you can do sadhan nam bhajan is sadhan for you nam bhajan is sadhan for you are practicing nam bhajan that also not actual practice because sadhan if you are doing actual sadhan it is also very important but that is also not possible so those who are pure devotees for them nam bhajan it's itself sadhya vastu sadhya vastu mean through bhajan sadhya vastu mean sadhya vastu mean by doing your bhajan what is your target to be attained the object to be attained that is called sadhya vastu that is krishna prem our sadhya vastu is krishna prem so when those pure devotees gor kishor baba ji mahara bhakti siddhant saraswati bhakti mino thakur bangshida they are doing harinam they are harinam mean they can meet with bhagwan they can meet with bhagwan they can see all leela everything what goranga doing everything a miracle whereas ordinary devotees when they are trying to do harinam that is also not perfect harinam because the symptom the day the day you can the day you can do perfect harinam i mean pure then all problems solved if you can do pure harinam mean pure harinam mean there is no anartha there is no anartha going to disturb you there is pure hanya means there is no anartha at all anartha not going to disturb you at all that is called pure hanya in our devotional field sila popad many time told most of the people they cannot understand bhakti no thakur most of the people they don't understand who is bhaktivinoda thakur bhaktivinoda thakur is a pioneer personality in gauriya bhajan bhaktivinoda thakur is all in all even propatrol bhaktivinoda thakur equal to gauriya mart all the bhajan whatever you think from morning to night whatever you like to do all you calculate all coming from bhaktivinoda thakur all bhaktivinoda thakur top to bottom arti kirtan morning arti and up to night whatever you do all you can get all you can see bhakti mr thakur so without bhakti mr thakur even we even in dream we cannot understand realize what is kari so gauriya bhajan if you like to realize gauriya bhajan then you will have to understand bhakti mr thakur but i already told by your educational power by your you know money power man power you cannot understand what who is bhakti mr thakur you cannot understand it is only bhakti mr thakur by the bell by the help of whom we can have the scope to discuss all goswami gantha all gist though we know sinivas acharya writing though we know sinivas acharya writing sarogoshami stokam 
नाना शास्त्र विचार नैक निपुनो सद्धर्म संस्थापको लोकान हित कर बने मान्यो शरण्यक सोखे श्रीनिवास जो राइटिंग सर्गोस्वी स्टॉक ऑन दे आर यू रीडिंग द सर्गोस्वी पाद गोइंग टू स्टार चर्न द ओशन ऑफ शास्त्र रियली सो इफ समबॉडी यू नो गोइंग टू डिपेंड आई नो ऑल शास्त्र इज इडियट नंबर वन इज द ओशन अनंत पारम किल शब्द शास्त्रम अनंत पार शब्द शास्त्र अनंत इनफिनिटी हाउ यू कैन नो हाउ यू कैन नो दैट्स वाई किशोरदास को विराज गुस्सा में राइटिंग दोज आर बर्ड दोज बर्ड्स दे आर फ्लाइंग इन द स्काई अकॉर्डिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर कैपेसिटी स्पैरो कैन फ्लाई फ्रॉम हियर टू देयर क्रो कैन फ्लाई फ्रॉम हियर टू देट प्लेस प्रिजन कैन फ्लाई लिटिल बी Vulture can fly more high. Kishore Das Kaviraj Goswami is going to give this example. So, according to the capacity of bird, they can fly in the sky. If one bird is going to fly more high in the sky, that doesn't mean it is the end point. End point? Sky infinity, endless. So, according to her capacity, you can. According, you should not have any false ego. You should have humble mood, trinado vibhav, very very humble. That day I was discussing, na, like Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami is speaking. I am even more inferior than the insects available in the stool. The day we can develop that kind of humble attitude, not drama. I can play drama. I can play drama of Hari Gata, but for one or two day I can do. But I cannot speak countless Hari Gata. Not possible. Only Hari Gata possible if I am Trinad. Otherwise, not possible. Otherwise, it's not possible for me. But it is a system, automatically. This is the condition set by Mahaprabhu. If no Tinadavi, no Harikata Kita. Tinadavi Sunichana, Tarubi Sashina, Amanina Manadino, Kirto Niyo. It is the only qualification of, of a singer of Harikata, Harikata Kirtan, singer of Harikirtan, those who are doing. That doesn't mean I have no Tinadavi, so I cannot do Harikita. Not that. I have no thing other way, so I cannot do. I cannot do any kirtan or anything. Not that. If so be the case, then it is just like after learning swimming. After learning swimming, swimming, I will have to go to the master of swimming. Swimming master. I mean, my master there, champion. So I already learn. After learning swimming. What is the need to go to swimming pool to register my name in their book to learn swimming? I will learn. So those who are already thin adhopi, they can do pure kirtan, pure hikata. That doesn't mean we cannot do any kirtan. We will have to practice and in course of our hari kirtan, hari katha, this is the only medicine, divine panacea for this you know, Kali Yuga, Harinam Sankirtan. Perfectly. That also not alone. Together with all devotees. Shadu Shange Krishna Nam Ei Matra Chai Shangsar Jiniti Ar Kono Vastu Nai. We have to be very careful. This way we have to do. So if I think I know Bhakti Vinod Thakur, it is my, it is my false ego. I am, I am trying to know Bhakti Vinod Thakur. To know Bhakti Vinod Thakur means to know his Bani Sarup, to know Bhaktivinoda Thakur exactly, if I, if I say I like to know Bhaktivinoda Thakur from heart with humble attitude, 
That means surely we will have to understand, realize the Bani Sharuba Bhakti Murtha. Writing, speech, everything is called Bhakti Murtha. Bhakti Murtha is not a man or, you know, made of blood and flesh. Not that. He is doing this kind of Leela. So, also it is a miracle that Gaur Shakti Gadadhar Pandit, Gaur Shakti Gadadhar Pandit is going to leave body today. Follow. Today is the Tirubhaptiti of Gaur uh, Bhakti Sila Sachyanda Bhakti Thakur. At the same time, today is the Tirubhaptiti of Gadadhar Pandit. This is one point of indication. Like Bhakti Thakur, Namo Bhakti Vinodaya, eh? Sachidananda Mini, Sachidananda Mini, Gauru Shakti Sarupayo, Rupanu Gavarayate. Follow what I say. Gauru Shakti Sarupayo is a Saru, I mean the Sarupa Bhakti Thakur, Gauru Shakti Sarupayo. Are Rupanu Gavarayate. Rupanu Gav, those who are Rupanu Gav, among them is the topmost Rupanu Gav. Rupanu Gav Barayate. Barayate man, I am going to pay down what they. Follow what I say. So is all, today is a Gadadhar Pandit Thirabhaptiti. Also today is a Thirabhaptiti of Bhakti Mnathaku. Is going to indicate some secret thing. We are going to get clue from Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Gosha. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Gosha Mipa Baba speaking someday. Whenever I look, whenever I look at the lotus feet of Bhakti Vinod Thakur, I can see Radharani. Whenever I look at Bhakti Vinod Thakur, lotus feet, I can see Radharani. I can see the beauty of Radharani. What do you mean? Bhakti Mataru wanted to indicate. Some rascal people, idiot people, they are speaking. Bhakti Thakur is the father of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami is the son of Bhakti Thakur. They should go to home to marry and live there. So fallen so no idea, nothing. Popad never told Bhakti Thakur is my father. And Bhakti Thakur never told Vimala Prasad is my song. Never told. Bhakti Thakur never told is my song. Always Bhakti Thakur used to see the sarup of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. Even when you were a small boy. Even, even when you were a small boy, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati was a very small boy, five years, seven years, but still Bhakti Thakur could realize. Who is he? Bhakti Thakur could realize, Bhakti Thakur could realize the Chit Sakti of Jagannath, Chit, chit Sakti of Jagannath, I mean Bimala Devi. Have you ever been there? No? Inside Jagannath Mandir, there is Bhimala Devi. Chit Sakti. Bhakti Thakur could realize that from Bhimala Devi, there is Chit Sakti coming in the form of Bhimala Prasad Saraswati. Bhimala Prasad. Bhimala Devi, Chit Sakti of Jagannath is the Prasad. I mean, Chit Sakti. So, when Prabhupada was a very small boy. Bhakti Thakur could realize who is he. And when Prabhupada was seven years boy, he could also realize who is he. Could realize. At present it is Bangladesh. At, at present it is Bangladesh, that time in total undivided India. India was very big. So big you cannot imagine even. All partition, partition. That time it was undivided India. Bhakti Thakur went 
to accept Harinam Diksha, Bhakti Vinod Thakur is the eternal person of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Bhakti Vinod Thakur is the eternal person of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Bhakti Vinod Thakur in the form of Kamal Manjuri, already there in Radha Govindu Leela. But still, they are going to manifest this kind of Leela, of accepting Guru, Harinam, Diksha, everything. This one kind of Leela. Lalita Saki, not going to take Diksha from anybody. Vishakha Saki, not going to take Diksha. But Rupa Goswami was surely going to get Diksha, because Though we know Rupa Goswami path is Rupa Manjari, but still, when Rupa Goswami path is there in form of Rupa Manjari, they are playing their pastime with, with Krishna. But when they are coming in the form of Rupa Goswami path, they are Gaur Parshat, but still they are going to accept everything, whatever you need to do in the way of your Hari Bhajan, whatever you need to do, they used to follow everything. All Akadashi, Janmashtami, everything, they are going to fast everything, but not. Everything they are following. It's a miracle, because they are going to teach us. Similarly, Gorang Mapu, though Krishna, still wanted to teach us. That's why coming in the form of devotee. But he is Supreme Lord. Supreme Lord, no? So, Bhakti Thakur, coming in this form, in this form, but there is one indication, Prabhupada already told, that whenever I look at the lotus feet of Bhakti Vinod Thakur, I can see the beauty of Radharani. It's true. So, if Prabhupada is going to indicate this way, that's mean, Radharani mean, Gadadhar Pandit, Radharani means Gadadhar Pandit also. So Gadadhar Pandit, Disappearance Day, and Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Disappearance Day, going to indicate something similar, very... So, first of all I say, to realize Bhakti Vinod Thakur, we must understand the Bani Sharuba Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Without understanding the Bari, Bani Sarubha Bhakti Vinod Thakur, we can never, we can never understand who is Bhakti Vinod Thakur. So, some foolish people saying, Baba, Baba means father. In Bengali, they say Baba. So, some of our Guru Bhargo, with some joking mood speaking, uh, Radha, Popa told to see Radha. Popa told us to see Radha in Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Say, if Radha, Radha, eh? if somebody unable to see Radha, then what happened? Radha, dha, then up, up, dha, you know, some marking there. So it is dha. If you erase dha, if you erase dha, eh? Radha to, Eh? Follow. Radha. And after that, if you erase the uh, drop here, which is called raw. Raw. Raw one drop. So, first of all, if you are blind, you cannot see Radha. I mean, one Radha, if you write, then in Bengali, <laughs> has yeah, some marking there. If you erase that, eh? and after that, if you erase the drop, raw, then it becomes Baba. From Radha, you cannot see Radha, you can see Baba. Don't understand. Radha, Dha, upper portion if you erase, and the drop down if you erase, then it comes from Radha, Baba. Ra transfer into Bo, if you erase the drop, say so it's from Baba. So, we are supposed to discover Radharani in Antulota Svita, Bhakti Vinod Thakapa, so, so idiot. We cannot see Radha, we shall find Baba. These are darshan. Anyway, when Bhakti Vinod Thakur manifested this kind of Leela, 
she was there in Purushottam Dham. I am not going to touch all points because very heavy ocean. Some important point I like to discuss. When Bhakti Mir Thakur was given the total responsibility to get control over the seva, all the seva, top to bottom, of Jagannath Mandir. That time, Bhakti Mir Thakur used to go every day to Jagannath temple and used to sit near the Pada pit, Emna Charan Chinna, footprint of Gauranga Mapa inside there. He used to sit there. All devotees, they used to come together to do play Midanga, Kirtan, Harikatha, then after that. By, the, by that time, Bhaktivinoda Thakur was not initiated. So some Babaji's in, in Purushottam Dham, they used to express some bad remark about Bhaktivinoda Thakur. Because they cannot discover Tilok, Ma, because Bhaktivinoda Thakur was busy. Bhaktivinoda Thakur was busy. So they used to pass bad remarks. He is speaking Harikatha, everything, passing so many Siddhanta, but not initiated. Follow? They used to. So, someday Bhaktivinoda Thakur wanted to give them answer. They say, I am really not initiated. What to do? After that, Bhaktivinoda Thakur was initiated, but Bhaktivinoda Thakur was initiated, we can say, but before initiation, before initiation, we cannot understand Shastra. It is written, it is written in Shastra that without initiation, without Guru Kipa, nobody can realize the inner meaning of Shastra. If you want to get one example, I can give Gopal Bhattu Goswami, when he was small boy, Gopal, Gopal, he was first giving skirt thread by Prabhadan Saraswati. After that, he was giving Harinam, everything. After that, he started. That was the system that do, on those days. On those days, it was the system. Those who were already taking skirt thread, Gayatri, Harinam, then they can, they can start reading in Gurukul. This was the system. Because without getting Guru Kipa, nobody can realize the inner meaning of Shastra. So now my question is that, if Bhaktivinoda Thakur, if Bhaktivinoda Thakur need initiation, if at all Bhaktivinoda Thakur need initiation, I mean need to, need initiation, accept initiation, how it was possible for Bhaktivinoda Thakur to write all Shastra, inner meaning of Shastra much before? Before taking initiation, before taking initiation, many, many books, Bhakti Thakur already. Then how it was possible for Bhakti Thakur? If he is not eternal, if he is not eternal Parsad, if he is not eternal Parsad of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, then how it was possible for him to write so many books before initiation? That's mean? It is going to imply that he is the eternal person of Gauranga, no doubt. But still, they are manifesting this kind of lila. He is going to accept some Acharya. He is going to accept some Acharya. I am not going to name. Name is not so important. Why not so important? That also I can explain. Bhakti Thakur accepted. Harinam Diksha, everything from that you know, Bhagnapara branch, Bhagnapara group, he took. And in books also, Bhakti Muttagur writing the name of Gurudev. But after that, due to fall down, Bhakti Muttagur told that Guru gone. Guru was there, but Guru gone. Where? Bhakti Muttagur wrote. In Chaitanya Sikram, the backside you also write. So, Pahupad, Bhimalapasa, Saraswati, and Bhakti Muntagur went to pay Dandavat to Gurudev long ago, when Prabhupad was only seven years old. Prabhupad, the eternal person of Bhagavan. 
when that guru going to place the leg on the head of Bhakti Thakur, when that guru, Sahajiya guru, going to place his, his own lotus feet on Bhakti Thakur's head, then seven years boy Prabhupada become fire. He is speaking. Do you think you have your capacity? Do you think you have your right to place your leg on the head of Bhakti Thakur? Seven years boy. Only seven years boy. He become fire. He is speaking. Do you think you have your right to place your leg on the head of Bhakti Thakur? You know how, who is Bhakti Thakur? You know who is he? Seven years boy. Seven years boy. Fire. Then that Gurudev could realize. After that, it was discovered that his Sahaja Guru, anyway, I don't like to speak his name. So, if we say Bhakti Thakur has no Guru, nothing is a wrong Siddhanta, it's not good. Is the eternal Parsat. The eternal Parsat. Who is the Guru of Bhakti Thakur? Who is the Guru of Prabhupada? Who is the Guru? Gaur Kishat Das Bhavaji Maharaj is the Guru of Bhakti of Prabhupada? Or Prabhupada is the Guru of Gaur Kishat Bhavaji Maharaj? Because Gaur Kishat Bhavaji Maharaj used to say himself, My Prabhu, Guru, My Prabhu, Master. Gaur Kishat Bhavaji used to say. So it is confusing for those who are newcomers, they cannot understand. They cannot understand this. It's very confusing. So, who is the Guru? Who is the Guru? Of whom? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the Guru of Ishar Puripad or Ishar Puripad is the Guru of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Keshav Bharati is the Guru of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Took sannyas or Keshav Bharati took sannyas from. So, all confusing. It depends upon your realization power. It depends upon your bhajan power. The more you can do bhajan, the, the more you can take shelter. I mean, 100% if you take shelter of Guru Bhargava, then all you can see clearly what is what. So, before leaving, before leaving this material world, Bhakti Thakur wanted to put some, you know, some advice to Prabhupada. What is that advice? You must arrange Dham Parikram before leaving body. Bhakti Thakur told, who, to whom instruction, last instruction to Prabhupada, Bhimalapasa Saraswati. You must arrange Dham Parikram because Dham Parikram is the topmost, you know, procedure by the help of which bonded soul can get benefit. No other procedure. Dham Parikram is the topmost because by Dham Parikram all bonded soul can get some facility. Because Dhamma is Nithananda Tattva, Baladev, Guru Tattva. So Dhamma Parikrama, Bhakti Muttaka told, all common mass coming, poor man, or so many fallen. You can arrange them. Dham Parikram, Gaur Dham Parikram every year. You can arrange, you can arrange Daiva Varnasram because those great great Vaishnavas like Raghunath Das Goswami Path, like Gaur Kishad Das Babaji Maharaj. Like Bhangshidar Bhaji Maharaj, they are being insulted by those rascals because they don't know. They don't understand who they are. That's why Prabhupada told, it is your duty to establish Daiva Varnasam Dharma to protect the dignity of those Vaishnava, those rascal people. They are going to say, Bhangshidar Bhaji Maharaj took birth in a fisherman family. Gaur Kishar Bhavaji Maharaj took birth in a Vaishya family. Raghunath Das Goswami took birth in a low family. Haridas Thakur 
took birth in a Muslim family. Those rascal people, they are more dangerous than Kangsa. They don't understand that the dignity of Guru Vaishnava. That's why Bhakti Muttaku told, you are the fittest personality, so you must implement, you must establish Daiva Varnasam, Dharma, to protect the dignity of those pure Guru Vaishnava. Be careful. Otherwise, they can express audacity to insult Guru Vaishnava. Be careful. Vaishnavas are beyond Varnasam Dharma. Vaishnavas are they are beyond Varnasam Dharma. They are not confined. In the Varnasam Dharma is applicable for bonded soul. Varnasam Dharma is applicable for bonded soul, not for pure Vaishnava. Follow what I say. Third point, you must try to decorate, you must, you must try to decorate this dham. Decorate means you can try to arrange so many things, facilities, so that common people can think, they can, they can, they can try to come here. They can try to come here, no? So you can arrange school, college, hospital, everything. I mean, all facilities. So, and road, everything, external facilities. So that common people can get the chance to come here to pay Dandavat at least to Gauranga Mahapur Da. Or at least they can come to take darshan. Still they can get some benefit. So, school, everything was established, you know, everything was established, you know. So, Bhakti Minu Thakur is the first man who started preaching in front of foreign people. He was the first personality to start preaching in front of foreign people in different languages. He used to speak in English, Hindi, Bengali, Sanskrit and Urdu, Farsi, so many, six, seven languages. Bhakti Matur used to speak. He was the first person. He was the first Gauriya Guru who started preaching the Siddhanta Bisha, I mean Shiksha, Chaitanya Shiksha, teachings of Gauranga Mahapu in front of foreign people. He was the first people, first man. He was the first man. Even Gaurpars is the seventh Goswami. Six Goswami, you know, but he is the seventh Goswami. So, our six Goswami, they are not going to speak Harikatha in front of foreign people. It's a Bhakti Minut Thakur. He wanted to preach Harikatha, countless Harikatha, countless writing and Harikatha in front of. He was the first man, pioneer personality. Now we see the teachings of Gorang Mahapu going, who is going to accept. Uh, that I don't know, but anyway, they are trying all over the world, they are, you know, all the teachings of Gorang Mahapu. Right? So, Bhakti Thakur started preaching when he was district magistrate, so busy, still then he started writing so many things, skits and everything, he was too much busy. But still he started writing, all kids and everything, all writings, so countless writings. All Gauriya treasure, even all the Goswamis, they are writing, and uh, six, uh, six Goswami, and our uh, Jiva Goswami are writing Sata Sandarbha. You can realize if I give you Sata Sandarbha, you try to read Sanskrit and try to Bhakti Mataku. Bhakti is going to read everything, like I already told, Saragoswami is going to churn the ocean of Sastra, going to get the cream, and even after that, Bhakti Thakur is going to get, I know, more and more accurately. So, otherwise, it was not possible for us to realize Shata Sandarbha, all Vedanta, all different kind of things, who can realize? And the accurate Explain, I mean, commentary of Chaitanya Charitamrita, how possible? Jaiva Dharma, alone Jaiva Dharma, if you read Jaiva Dharma, you can have the clear concept 
about Gauriya Bhajan. Only one Jaiva Dharma if you read. Then you can get everything. Clear idea. Chaitanya Sikhamito, Mahaprabhu Shiksha, Bhajan Rahasya, all different Kirtan, all written by, all different commentaries, all written by Bhakti Thakur. All written by Bhakti Thakur. This way, it is written. We are getting everything from Bhakti Thakur. Guru Dham, Ganthodham, Namadam, Dhamadam, Muna, Muda. We know it. Guru Dham, Ganthodham. By His mercy, we are going to get Prabhupada. Guru Dham is going to give Guru to us. Guru Dham, Ganthodham is going to give all books. Namadam, Harinam, the glorification of Harinam was established by Bhakti Thakur freshly. Namadam, Dhamadam, Muda. Dham, because one, another name of Bhakti Thakur is Nodia Prakas. Nobody knows. Follow. Bhakti Thakur discovered this Dham. This Dham, you know, Mahaprabhu's Abhirva plays everything. As discovered by Bhakti Thakur. So Dham also, Dham also, na? So, Bhakti Mataguri used to sit in, you know, Surabhikunju. There is one Surabhikunju. Because in, Bhakti, in Parikrama Khanda, Parikrama Khanda book, there Bhakti Mataguri was giving evidence that Surabhi Ma and Indra Maharaj started doing bhajan there in Surabhikunju to get darshan of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, the Supreme Lord. That was the phrase, Surabhikunja. Actually, Sananda Sukha, what you call Sananda Sukha the Gun, the all total area was beautiful garden that time at the bank of Saraswati Nadi. You cannot imagine, now building and building everywhere. Now if you look around all building, but that one is very decorated, like some demigods or uh, Bhagavan himself going to make. So charming beauty. Godrum so beautiful. Nature. Now you can find hotel, restaurant, these, that. What we can do? So that is a place where Bhakti Muttaku night time, after retirement, Bhakti Muttaku used to do bhajan night time. Used to do bhajan. Surabhikun. After that Bhakti Muttaku wanted to, after retirement, Bhakti Muttaku got some money. After retirement they are going to get some money, na? So, that Surabhi Kunja was made after that. Surabhi Kunja. But first of all, Bhakti Muttagu started doing bhajan in Surabhi Kunja. So, every day night time doing bhajan, uh, overlooking all Mayapur Dham, everything, because that time no building was there. No? If you sit in a high press, you can see all the beauties of Mayapur night time. So, Bhakti Muttagu suddenly discovered that there is some Huge megawatt light. But where from light come? But it's actually a remote place, no light system. Then Bhakti Muttagur wanted to visit there. Three consecutive days. After that, Bhakti Muttagur, first of all, he thought something can be there. After that, Bhakti Muttagur started searching. Where from this light come? Finally, Bhakti Muttagur could realize by the help of some old Muslim man, because that time the name of Mayapur was Miyapur, Mia, Mia. Mia is the honorable word for Muslim people, aged person. Oh Mia, this way. Follow. So that time it was the name of Mia, Miyapur. But Mayapur is eternally present. Like now Jannagar, Jannunagar it was. They change Jannagar. Government is also rascal. They are going to change everything. It is a Jannunagar. Jannunagar. But they are going to change in the name of Muslim people. Government is also like that. What to do? So, Bhakti Thakur wanted to search out what is the reason. Finally, Bhakti Thakur came to know from very, very senior Muslim people, old 
Because here, this is a very peculiar place. Muslim people, they are speaking, old man. It's a peculiar place. Well, why? But if you cultivate rice, you know, anything, nothing grows, only tulsi. We like to cultivate so many things, but nothing. We only two see coming out. Finally, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj coming from that place, Vrindavan, and started dancing at that place. A Bhakti Thakur was confirmed. Bhakti Thakur already knew, could realize, but still, Vaishnava Sarvam. Follow. Bhakti Thakur indicated from then onward, Bhaktivinoda Thakur started making so many research by previous historical position here, ge geographical concept. Previous, because Ganga now breaking this way, sometimes Ganga doing that way, now changing track, after the, this portion going that way, like Porama, like Porama was this side. Porama, what, what do you know, Porama, na? Porama, Porama was here. This side, Ganga was flowing that way. Sridhar Goswami Maharaj Mott, that way. You can find one big ditch. That was the original. But after the changing, everything changing. So, Bhakti Thakur wanted to know past and future, what is the geographical situation, historical, by the help of hunter, one very masterpiece man, of very archaeological, Department, a very important British people. He also wanted to help Bhakti Thakur. After that, they discover and finally Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj is going to confirm there is a place. This way, Bhakti Mutha, one name of Bhakti Mutha Thakur was Nadia Prakash. Another name of Bhakti Mutha Thakur was Nadia Prakash anyway. So, Nadia Prakash actually one magazine, Nadia Prakash paper, daily newspaper. Popat used to publish anyway. So, after Bhakti Thakur gone, first point, Bhakti Thakur gone, but we are not feeling any, we are not feeling any pain. Because we have no relationship with Bhakti Thakur. If at all you have your relationship with your father, when father can go away, you can cry. If you have you have a relationship with your wife, your wife go going away, you can cry. Children go away. But if we have your our relationship with Bhakti Thakur, surely we can feel pain today. Because Bhakti Thakur gone means everything gone. But one consolation, all is by Bhakti Thakur is still there in the form of Bani Sharu. And this kind of assurance given by Prabhupada. That Bhakti Vino Dara can never be never be stopped. That is the only con consolation for us. Prabhupada many times told, don't worry, Bhakti Vino Dara can never be stopped. Though externally you can find all massive changes in devotional field, all rubbish. Nobody ready to follow. Exact rules and regulations. Achar acharan. Go everywhere. Go every all around the world. You go. I say you go. If you have your money, go everywhere, all around. You can find you cannot find the exact acharan shown by Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta Sas. It's impossible. Everybody going to break something. Maybe fifty percent they are accepting. 20%, 10%, or not even 5%. But they claim, who are you a devotee? They have the adversity. So, it is a consolation for us, because Prabhupada told Bhakti Dara can never be stopped. So, we are there. But, external situation, so dangerous, that as if external situation so dangerous, so dangerous, as if Bhakti Dara going to be destroyed. But not so. Not possible. Bhakti Dara nobody can. Because Bhakti Dara stopped me, 
no Gauriya pure devotee there on this earth. Bhakti Vinod Dara means pure Dara. What is Bhakti Vinod Dara? That is called Upanuga Dara. You don't understand. What is called Bhakti Vinod Dara? That is called Upanuga Dara. But you don't understand. You are in confusion. Bhakti Vinod Dara means Upanuga Dara. Same. So, when Bhakti Vinod Thakur gone from this material world, many people coming in front of Prabhupada, and speaking, you are uh, so strict. Bhakti Thakur allowed us to do kirtan, this, that. You are not going to allow us. Why? You are so strict. Bhakti Thakur used to arrange lila kirtan, lila kirtan, everything. You are so strict. Why? <laughs> Prabhupada laughing. Prabhupada speaking. Bhakti Thakur just gone in the year of 1914. This day, today. In the year of 1914, Bhakti Mutagur gone. That time, Prabhupada speaking. I mean, 14, uh, maybe 1916 or 17, some people are going to approach Prabhupada and speaking. You are not going to arrange you know, Lila Kirtan, everything. Bhakti Mutagur was uh, very good. He used to arrange. Prabhupada laughing. Prabhupada speaking. <laughs> you have not seen Bhakti Mutagur at all. You don't know who is Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Ah, we don't know. We have seen Bhakti Vinod Thakur. By these eyes, you cannot see Bhakti Vinod Thakur. By these eyes, you cannot see Bhakti Vinod Thakur. How you can see? We have seen personally. Bhakti Vinod Thakur used to call a Lila Kirtan from Shantipu. They used to come and do Kirtan. No, you have not seen Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Baba see, you have not seen Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Why? Because Bhakti Vinod Thakur was very clever. Bhakti Vinod Thakur used to make some trap, you know, trap, trap, you know, trap. He personally never approved. He personally never approved Sahajya Kirtan. You go through any book. Chaitanya Sakramito, Chaitanya Charitamito, a commentary or Jaiva Dharma, any book you take, you bring in front of me. You show me that Bhakti Thakur approved Sahajiya Bhajan. One, one, single instant you show me. You cannot see. Because Bhakti Thakur was totally against. Even we already published this, you can remember. Bhakti Thakur told, it is far better, it is far better to stop. Bhakti Thakur told, it is far better to stop this kind of kirtan. It is far better to stop this kind of kirtan than to sing kirtan here, Sahajiya kirtan here and there to destroy the whole Samaj, society. It's far better. If this system, of, if this kind of system of uh, Lila kirtan is abolished, I mean, going to stop forever, no problem. But those sajyas, they are going here and there in the market, speaking Rupanuga Bhajan, Raganuga Bhajan, Lila Kirtan, all like sajya. So, Popa is going to give answer that you have not seen, even you have not seen Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Otherwise, how you are going to pass this kind of remark? We have seen Lila Kirtan doing Bhakti Vinod Thakur sitting here, doing Harina. That foolish. You have not seen Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Bhakti Vinod Thakur, used to call those Santipur Sahajiya Kirtan, not to hear, but to make one trap. All people, those who are gossiping, doing next to nothing. In a rock, you know, they are taking tree and biri, pan, and sitting in the, here's the picture of Bengal, Orissa. Bhakti Thakur used to pull them. Oh, there is one Lila Kirtan from Santipur, a dancing, we can go, very nice, enjoy. So, if they are coming to hear Lila Kirtan, first of all, they can see Bhakti Thakur sitting close eyes and doing Haridam. They can discover. Bhakti Thakur sitting, it's a must. Anybody entering that assembly, first of all, they can see Bhakti Thakur so powerful. Body falls, you know? Bhakti Thakur do Haridam. Closing hand. Bhakti Thakur not here. Bhakti Thakur not hearing Lila Kirtan. Bhakti Thakur already gone to... 
Vrindavan to serve Radha Govinda. They are rascal, they don't understand. Hello. So only to give them darshan, because if they are going to see Bhakti Thakur, they can get benefit. Bhakti Thakur is not hearing Kirtan. They are doing Lila Kirtan, he is unmindful, gone there. But they think Bhakti Thakur approved, no. So Prabhupada wanted to clarify this, all these points. Bhakti Thakur actually wanted to implement the teachings of Gauranga Mahaprabhu more effective way. More effective way, why I am speaking? Because Bhakti Thakur wrote anything, everything. But Bhakti Thakur took actually Paramahansa base. Bhakti Thakur never took sannyas. Whatever preaching done by Bhakti Thakur, all before, after taking Paramahansa, Bhakti Thakur not going anywhere. Follow what I mean to say. Bhakti Muttaka is a nice preacher. He has done all preaching. But in the, in the form of writing and speaking, Harikatha, all done. But when Bhakti Muttaka took Paramahansa base, wide base, from then onward, he is staying here, speaking Harikatha in front of two people, two. One is, one is that the Sevak of Bhakti Muttaka, Krishna Das Babaji Maharaj, Samadhi Mandi, Bhakti Mandi was Samadhi Mandi, just left hand side you can find Mansa. It's just, it's a Samadhi Mandi of Krishna Das Babaji Maharaj. And sometime Gaur Kishar Babaji Maharaj used to cross the river and come here to here. Harikatha. 3.30, noon time 3.30, 4 o'clock, Bhakti Mandi used to sit in Sananda Sukhata and speak Harikatha daily. But after that Bhakti Mandi would stop everything. Krishna Das Babaji Maharaj used to read. Bhakti Thakur all the day and night used to close eyes and do Harina. Even not opening eyes. Last time, last time Bhakti Thakur never used to open eyes. Very rare. Always closing eyes. Suppose some devotee coming to take darshan of Bhakti Thakur. Directly we have information from him. Oh, gone from this world. Our Guru Bhargava, Sama Bhagav. But when he came first to take darshan of Bhakti Thakur, he was not allowed. After that, he requested very much. Then Krishnadal Babaji Maharaj went up. I used to do bhajan there. Bhajan, Bhakti Thakur bhajan kutir. Outside their baranda was there. I used to do. They allowed me. Because I was in Chaitanya Namad to speak Harikatha. Only I was allowed to stay near Bhakti Thakur bhajan kutir. Yeah, Prabhupada Bhajan Kuti, yeah, Bhakti Muttagar Bhajan Kuti, outside one small baranda, I was allowed there. Many times I used to say and he speak Harikatha there. So, and Gaur Gadadhar Bigro, very small deity, Gaur Gadadhar, Bhakti Muttagar used to keep in a very small place, one cavity in the wall. There Gaur Gadadhar used to do Bhajan. Follow. So, finally, Krishna Das Babaji Maharaj going to request Bhakti Murtak because he was sent by Prabhupada. So finally he was sent by Prabhupada, Bhimala Pusha. So he is going up and for a long time Bhakti Murtak already passed away. Pass away means Nitya Lira. Only he is doing Harinam externally. Bhakti Murtak not giving response. Repeatedly Sevak speaking, Thakur. Thakur, many times, repeatedly speaking, but Bhakti Thakur not giving response. When he started speaking heavily, in a high voice, after that Bhakti Thakur began. Bhakti Thakur wanted to respond. Then, Krishnadas Babaji was speaking, some devotee coming, Bhimala Prasad sending that devotee to take your kipa. Bhakti Thakur giving some indication. Yes or no? Indication. You cannot understand. Gaur, uh, that Krishna Babaji Maharaj is habituated. He can understand. Then he is going to allow the devotee up to meet with Bhakti Muttagur, paying Dandavat. But Bhakti Muttagur not opening eyes. Finally, to see, finally to see the devotee who is coming. Mani Bhimala Prasad is going to send him, na? To see, 
Bhakti Mahatma will forcefully open eyes this way. Because all upper portion eyelid used to close, heavy, always, not open. Last time used to open, forcefully. There, Bhajan Kutir. Paramahansa always, always used to show us how to do Rupanuga Bhajan. All Jaiva Dharma, Chaitanya, Sikhamito, everything if you read, you can get clear conception. Bhajan, Rasya, all the commentary of Shikhasta, Upadishamritam, miracle. I mean miracle. You cannot understand how possible for, how possible for Bhakti to write so many things, so accurately. So accurately write everything, clearly. But still, our, we are very bad luck. Bhakti Thakur giving so much facility to us. But still, we are not growing our mood of bhajan. Very bad luck. Bhakti Thakur giving everything to us, but not. Even one book was published in the year of uh, uh, 1918 or 19, I think. If I am not uh, mis making a mistake, one book was published that the name of that book was Bhakti Binod Bani Boibhav. After 100 years, I published that book. 100 years gapping. 1900, that, so I published around, uh, around 100 years after. That was the publication first. After that, Bhakti Binod Bani Boibhav. What is the speciality of that book? Very, very special book. Why? Because all important Siddhanta Bhisha, time to time, in the whole life of Bhakti Minot Thakur, whatever lecture he gave, wherever, all Siddhanta Bhisha, all collected, and any, any topics, any question, any topics, whatever, you can get all answer from that Bhakti Minot Bani, Bhakti Binod Bani Vaibha. All collected, very nice book. Some Matajis from Italy or Austria, I don't know. She used to hear Harikatha continuously, continuously Harikatha. And she, she used to put she used to put questions repeatedly. So many questions. So many questions, so dangerous questions to give answer. I was bound to write one triatai, small book. I used to give. I'm very happy. He's putting questions. After that, how and when I don't know, she fall down. Because Papa speaking, bonded soul can reserve the right of fall down anytime. You cannot claim, you cannot express your false ego. You cannot express your false ego. Especially tomorrow I can discuss this point. Bonded soul can reserve the right of fall down any time. I can discuss this point. So, that Mataji is suddenly write all rubbish. Why? Because I wrote three articles, three, four articles. First part, second part, third part. About, you know already, Mataji is they are not allowed to act as Acharya. You've gone through that uh, article. Three part I published. Fourth part I am going to publish, already ready. Maybe two, three days Harikatha. After that I can publish. There I give answer from Sastra. Why not? But she become angry. She is going to put question in challenging mood, which is totally prohibited. You cannot put question in challenging mood. If you want to know Siddhanta Vichar with folded hand in humble mood, you will have to approach. It is the Instruction of Krishna. Tadviddhi panipateno paribhasnano sevaya upodekshantite jnanam jnanino stattva darshino. Who is going to care your challenging mood? Rascal. But she is going to put. I saw the letter, how possible. She is sharing Harikatha continuously this day. Asasanga. When you can do Asasanga, you cannot realize. You cannot understand. Be careful all the time. When, how you can get Asasanga? You cannot know, sir. You can think, great, exalted you. 
big, big sannyasi, acharya, they fall down. Hundreds of such examples, thousands of examples. So don't express false ego that I have done bhajan, I am realized soul. Who is realized soul? After that, I go through the letter, he read in front of me and say, Ni? how possible? I already published three, four part of that article, Mataji's, why not have it? I give answer, documents all. She is going to write this way. I am sure that she wants to become, become female Acharya. That's why I wrote in the article. Maybe you like to become female Acharya, that's why you become angry with me. I give such an answer, there is one kind of slap on his, forever you can stop your speech. Follow. I was thinking that idiot lady, she cannot, she is not going to obey. So I will have to get direct evidence of Prabhupada and Bhakti Matrava. Though all evidence I give from given, still I was searching for one direct evidence of Bhakti Muttaku. I was thinking two, two, two days only. After reading the I was thinking. Twenty-five years back, twenty-five years back, I read one Siddhanta Vijara Bhakti Muttaku, twenty-five years back. So I could remember Bhakti Muttaku told this, but where I read? Where I? I read 25 years, but I have to search that book, where? But I remember, that's it done, 25 years back. I'm sure Bhakti Muttaku told, I remember everything, but the book I forget, where it is there. Follow what I say, I stop all my writing, I started opening, I went to my library, I was uh, thinking it must be, it must be in Chaitanya Sikha, let me search. I open, second chapter, I find that. I make a you know, copy and a documents I give. Now, she is bound to stop. Otherwise, I can say, you are not Gauriya devotee. You can go back to your home. You have no right to speak, identify yourself as Gauriya devotee. Because you are against Bhakti Muttaku. Bhakti Muttaku write this about Mataji's direct evidence, his own writing. Everything. I, I, and another Mataji may be from some international society, I don't know from which group, I don't know. She wrote, there is so many sastra, we are not going to follow every sastra. I, that day I was speaking, na? last time, Chaitanya Bhagavad, Shafari Farfarayate, one small piece, one small piece become very chanchal. So little learning is dangerous. I spoke Harikatha. That Mataji is speaking, that in you know, Sanskar Deepika, women, they are allowed to take, I mean, who told? Who told? You show me evidence. I already copy and show that clearly reading, Matajis are not allowed to take renounce order. Already I copy. Then I can put question to them. Bring, bring with, come here with evidence. So dangerous. All over the world, this situation is so complicated now, whom to follow? If I am day and night, if I speak about Prabhupada, day and night, if I speak about Prabhupada, day and night, if I speak about Prabhupada and Bhakti Mano Thakur, still they are not ready to accept. Still they are not. They are ready to accept those cheater guru. They already cheated them. So let, what I can do? What I can do for them? So Bhakti Vinod Thakur wanted to save us. You can get all answer. Whole, what not, everything. Countless answer you can get. So, Gurudam, Granthadam, Namadam, Dhamadam, Muda, Bhakti Dam, Bhuridam, Bande, Bhakti Vinodakam, Sada. What I say? You should remember. Memorize sloka. Foolish. <laughs> eh? Oh, no memory. Why? No memory means no bhakti. <laughs> link is, link break up, na? no bhakti. To keep in touch. You know, Gurudam, Granthodam, Gurudam, Granthodam, Namadam, Dhamadam, Muda. Bhaktidam, Bhuridam, Bande. Bhakti, Binadakam, Sada. Follow. Bhakti Mano Thakur wanted to all establish all perfect Siddhanta. 
Bhakti Mahatma Tagore wanted to establish. I repeatedly requested them, Prabhupada requested them, all our Guru Bhargava. You need not follow anybody. You follow Bhakti Mahatma Dara. Many times. Repeatedly I told, our Guru Bhargava told, Prabhupada told, who not, everybody. You please follow Bhakti Mahatma Tagore. You need not follow any other stream. If we are successful, we are, if we are successful, if we are successful to keep Bhakti Vinod Dara flowing, if we are successful to keep this Bhakti Vinod Dara, flow of Bhakti Vinod Dara in our daily bhajan life, then nobody can cheat us. Then nobody can cheat us. Prabhupada repeatedly told, Prabhupada repeatedly told, if you can understand the basic difference between Bhakti Vinod Dara and non Bhakti Vinod Dara, Many times Prabhupada told, if you can realize the basic difference between Bhakti Minut Dara and non Bhakti Minut Dara, this is called itself satsanga. I mean, to realize what is the difference between Bhakti Minut Dara and non Bhakti Minut Dara, this is itself satsanga. I mean, when you are trying to realize what is Bhakti Minut Dara, what is non Bhakti Minut Dara, it is itself one kind of satsanga. So, Prabhupada many times told, if you can realize the basic difference between if you can realize the basic difference between bhakti Mahatma dara and non bhakti non bhakti Mahatma dara then you need not you need not join one cheater group then you need not join one cheater group eh? in the name of bhakti Mahatma dara you need not because they are cheater you can fall down you need not join a cheater group to fall down. You need not join one, you know, cheater group to fall down. Why you are going? Running here and there. Try to get perfect satsanga. Try to get perfect satsanga, Bhakti Mahatma repeatedly told. This life you can get success. This life. You need not wait for. If you can realize Bhakti Mahatma Dara, if you can realize this life, then I can put challenge. You can come out successful. But the luck is very bad. If you can realize 50%, 100% you cannot realize. Or maybe 70% you can realize, 30% confusion. Sometimes you are in confusion, no? Why Mara speaking this way? <laughs> you cannot understand. Very typical. But I am sure if you have serving temperament, then you can realize. If you have serving temperament, you can realize. Because through seva, through seva you can realize. This is the system. No seva mood, you cannot understand. Seva mood, you can realize. How much qualification you have, it's not a big factor. But you can realize. Everything you can realize. So, Bhakti Mnur Thakur, if have so many things I like to speak, but time cannot permit. Abhirvaptiti also coming. Abhir Bhaktiti also coming. Then we can discuss. Today I am going to stop. So you should not uh, forget that first sloka to realize the gravity of Bhakti Mahatma Thakur. What for Bhakti Mahatma Thakur appeared and you know, came here on this earth to show the bhajan. Suro Sarid Upakanthe Godrume Gauri Tirthe Anadishoka Vishnu. Suro Sarid Upakanthe, Godrume Gaura Tirthe, Vasati Susuro Bukunje, Bhakti Purvam Vinadaha, Jugala Charana Seva, Shaksho Lava Saya Asho, Brajo Rasikar Sikaya, Pada Padmasraya Atro. Atro means here. I am sitting with a desire to get the association of those Brajo Rasik exalted devotees. When they can come and rescue me with this mood, I am staying in front of Ganga, I mean Gaurdam Ganga especially. When Ganga was there and Jamuna was there, Jamuna is more important. But when Ganga in touch, Ganga is coming in touch with Gaurdam, is also equivalent, Prema. Because Gaurdam, na? Follow what I say. When Ganga is going to touch the Gaurdam, then it is equivalent. Prema, Goranga. So, Bancha Kalpatarusha Kipa, Sindhu Vivacha, 
पति तानंग पावन भविष्य भ्यो नमः